What's going on my YouTube family? Welcome back everybody. I'm that wood guy and today we have a special guest with us who happens to be my neighbor and my brother. Now we all call him Mr. B but his name is Chris. But for the video we're gonna call him Mr. B because I just think that's smooth and we're gonna try to create a whole smooth video for you friends and show you what's going on today. Now Mr. B was out here earlier of a few days ago, he's working on some dead ash himself mm -hmm. that are around his home front. And he's trying to remove these trees because he has future plans. So he has a few more that are just a little questionable. Uh, that yeah. wood guy is gonna come down and give him a hand and safely try to drop these trees away from the obstructions that he's concerned about. Now, I'm not gonna procla proclaim to be a professional, my friends, but I'm gonna use my years of experience with dealing with obstructions to safely remove these trees from a street. wood guy is not giving himself enough credit. He is a professional, which is why I've asked him for some help. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. B. And so today, my friends, we're going to share with you guys what we're gonna do. And to start, we have this pine tree that I'm gonna show you guys is up near the house where his deck is and his pool and there's kind of a little laneway that we'll show you guys in a minute that is our perfect drop spot that we want to take this pine out safely it's not going to hit the pool or mr b's deck <laughs> to now, which my wife would be very upset absolutely and my sister would certainly <laughs> then throw down all my experience <laughs> <laughs> But let's go show you guys what's exactly going on and we'll get started. Uh, you know, step one when you're chopping down a tree is grab an ax and just get started. <laughs> uh, four or five hours, we'll get back to you. Anybody who's curious and the ax in the hands, this is the victim. This was a gift uh, from a dear friend. It was made in Sweden. They're hand forged. And I'll tell you what, out of all the axes I've ever owned, this is the only one that's never broken. Hey, what? This is going to be the axe, too, my friends. It is going to just slice through this pine faster than any steel chainsaw you could ever own. All right, my friends. And this is our victim, our pine that we are removing in between the pool and the deck on our left. And we have a good open area. That I'm going to come in and give a little bit of reassurance. Come in with Big Bob and the forks. This pine is nothing for that machine. And I'm going to have Mr. B on the saw at hand. Or should I say axe? <laughs> on the chainsaw. Having him finish the final cut to safely drop this tree where we need to go. Got Big Bob here on the job. Rosie out coming to see <laughs> that we're going to bring over here, my friends, and bring up the grapple just to give a little bit of assistance to get this tree where we need to go. Okay, and we have Big Bob in position. 
on the pine tree and I also put the tines in between the pine which is going to just kind of help me give this a perfect direction and I'm trying to get this very precision um, I would use my axe and wedges my friends like you guys have seen me but with being this a smaller tree I'm just going to be able to control this so easy with Big Bob that I would rather do that um, Mr. B asked a good question if he was concerned about the tree bucking out at me you guys are going to see the bore cut that I'm going to do and prepare for Mr. B to then finally cut off after I give a little bit of pressure with Big Bob to help just finalize this tree and push it right where we want. And if I'm correct, Mr. B, you really haven't done anything exactly like this, dropping a tree not in a precise location? Right, not this close thing. I don't want to do so. Gotcha. And as he knows how serious this kind of stuff is, you know, my friends, we love to have fun and joke around, but we do take our work very serious. So Mr. B has head protection on. He's got ears, eyes, gloves. He's got boots and pants and chaps. So he's all set to go, my friends. And we're going to do our best and get this down right where we want. Okay. my friends and we put that right where we wanted I was hoping to have mr. B do the final cut preparing the final cut the tree wasn't holding much and I should know better being pine nonetheless the tree went down perfect right where we want clean off a couple of limbs here so I can get in with big Bob just get this tree out of the way for now
hey YouTube fans of that wood guy, I gotta tell you before he gets done here, he's a wonderful brother-in-law. He's helped me out through many things. I've known the guy since he was 12 years old for crying out loud. We've had a lot of fun together and we're gonna have a ton more, I'm sure. He's got a new nephew, a future logger, but he's only five days old and he's probably sleeping right now. I've got a gigantic brush pile in the back for things just like this. And my little tractor could not handle it.
out of here, guys. These machines are not something you just jump in and learn overnight, so the fact that Mr. B is getting a grapple full is very impressive. Today I'm the teacher. <laughs> Rockport High School social studies teacher here. Government and economics. Sorry, Mr. B. That's going to do it for this one, my friends. Big Bob is out here on the job showing Mr. B the advantages of having a track machine in this kind of world. This is the department for them machines, and Mr. B is in there in his glory. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this machine back now. <laughs> Brother, I love you. Thanks, guys. And always appreciate all your guys' support. We'll catch you guys on the next one. This is part one. So see you guys on part two. Take care, everybody. See ya.